In my last phosphorus video, I showed you phosphorus, but I didn't do any reactions with the phosphorus. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit of, about phosphorus, and then I'm actually going to do some reactions with some relatively impure, but still totally usable phos red phosphorus that I got from matchboxes. Alright, so phosphorus um, itself, the element, uh, exists in three different allotropes, um, kind of like uh, carbon, which exists in different allotropes. So for phosphorus, the allotropes are black, red, and white. Um, black phosphorus is the most stable form, and it's rarely seen and doesn't have that many applications. Red phosphorus is the most commonly seen because it's what you find on the mat on matchboxes. It's the red stuff that you find on the matchboxes and in the match heads of Strike Anywhere matches. White phosphorus, the most reactive allotrope, is uh, not readily available to many home chemists, so I won't be able to show you it, but I can talk to you a little bit about it. Its main application is actually in war because it is a great incendiary material. It burns with the tiniest amount of activation energy in air. Uh, there are some really cool YouTube videos out there about people burning it in pure oxygen and it burns really brightly and makes some phosphorus pentoxide. It's actually a, a misnomer. It's, it's more like tetra, uh, tetraphosphorus decoxide. But uh, anyway, um, Phosphorus is actually, although it can kill people very easily in the form of white phosphorus, is also necessary for life, and a lot of fertilizers actually have phosphorus. Um, it was really hard to get phosphorus in a form that was useful for life um, from, from phosphate rocks, which are very plentiful, but in the 1800s it was discovered how to do that, and that, along with the Haber process for making ammonia, are probably the two things res most responsible for the population boom. Alright, now that you've heard a little bit about phosphorus, let's see some in action. Here I have a crucible filled with a very small amount of very impure red phosphorus that I isolated from matchboxes. Um, and there are many videos about how to do this, but basically I just dipped it in acetone, which dissolved the binder. Um, and then I can scrape off the, the red phosphorus. Now this is extremely impure, but um, it's totally fine for pyrotechnics. So what I did here is I mixed some red phosphorus with sodium chlorate, and I mixed um, about nine milligrams of the very impure red phosphorus. I'm assuming about half of it actually isn't red phosphorus. So I mixed about nine milligrams of, of it with about 12 milligrams of sodium chlorate, which is a very strong oxidizer. Now I'm mixing a very strong oxidizer with a very strong reducer. So let's see what happens when I put it in an alcohol flame. All right, red phosphorus, strong reducer with SEM, I mean sodium chlorate, strong oxidizer in the flame. There we go. 